Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. I am super excited. Today's sketch is, whoops, <laughs> that was yesterday's. Today's sketch is this bad boy and it's got kind of six different spots with three photos. Now I'm going to cheat you guys. I am actually going to be making a pocket page with the six spots um, and I'm going to use four photos. I'm going to be doing the Frozen Ever After, just some random photos from the Frozen Ever After ride in Walt Disney World in Epcot. I've got some snow and cocoa stickers from 2016. Um, you know, I live in California now. We don't see a whole heck of a lot of snow or winter, so I've got those going on. Um, and then I also have these Simple Stories Summer Farmhouse stickers that my very sweet friend, Sharon sent, and I want to use some of the phrases here. So let's see what I can do. All right, you guys, I am back in my bedroom closet uh, because Christopher and Lana are downstairs watching uh, a movie, and it's very loud, and they're really into it. So I decided I would just come up here, hopefully where it's a little bit quieter, and I wouldn't disturb them because they're they're really into their movie. Now, I am totally cheating. Like I said, I'm going to be using these six horizontal pockets and I am scrapbooking Elsa's Revenge. So uh, this really isn't uh, called Elsa's Revenge, uh, but when we heard that um, Disney was kind of taking back over the Norway Pavilion in Epcot, we were like, man, Elsa's getting her revenge. And it just stuck. So we call uh, Frozen Ever After Elsa's Revenge. Now, we really miss the old Norway ride, um, especially the movie at the end where the little boy touches the wooden boat. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is about that, but I, I miss that part so much. Now, I still love the way Norway smells because it is full. If you go to the shop, first you walk out and there's like the regular old merchandise. And right now it's, 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 it's full of Disney Elsa Frozen merchandise. And then you go to the left and you have the Helly Hansen. And then you go past that and you have the Dale of Norway sweaters and the big uh, wooden troll. And then you walk into the perfume room that has Layla and um, the male gear ness, I don't know what it's called, but um, I wear Layla and we just call it Norway. So there is that. So now you know more about uh, me and my love of all things Norway and Epcot um, instead of what I'm basically doing with this layout. So I do have these four photos and I really didn't want to trim them down a whole lot, but as you guys know, I'm trying to get rid of some of my pocket cards. So I just grabbed six different pocket cards and I just trimmed my photos down ever so slightly so that they would have the colorful borders around them. Um, and then that's, that's one way that you can use up the four by six cards or even two, three by four cards put um, butt it up against each other and your photo on top of that uh, because you're not really losing anything out of the photo whatsoever with just this tiny little amount around it. Um, at least I don't think you are. Uh, if your photo is so special and wonderful that you can't trim a tiny little bit off then this this you know this little tip won't work for you and, and that's okay. Um, it doesn't have to. Now I do have these Coco Snow and Coco, I think that's what they're called, stickers, and they've been around a while. Um, here in California, we don't get the snow where we are. Um, we have lived here uh, since 2015 now, and you guys, I swear, we have not turned our heat on once. Uh, we have heated up uh, the house a little bit with like the fireplace, like we've turned on the fireplace, um, but we haven't we haven't turned on the heat, which <sighs> this is really my kind of weather. Not having to turn on the heat is a win in my book. Um, so I am using these uh, stickers. 
So my friend Sharon sent me these Simple Stories foam stickers and uh, I pulled out the word summertime and then I'm going to pull the word winter off and we're going to call it winter summertime. Um, and that's just for the whole, you know, Elsa's revenge. <laughs> I don't know. It made sense. It it makes sense in my head, you guys, and you guys know that my head is a very interesting place. Uh, that would be the nice term for it, and it's just it just makes sense in my head. So that is what I am going to title it. Um, yeah. So we have winter summertime, and I'm just using these stickers to kind of dress up the photos a little bit. I'm not really super concerned with how much embellishment is going to be going on this page um, because they're just kind of scenery photos. Uh, they are, there aren't any kind of like gorgeousness or anything like that. Now I do put the snowman guy on top of this four by six card uh, and he gets trimmed off at the bottom and it's a little bit of a nod to Olaf. Even though it looks nothing like him, it's still a snowman and um you know there it is actually it's a nose man so um that's another reverse ski ism uh snowman uh snowman or noseman uh because uh when alex was a very little kid very little uh he would call them nosemen and that has stuck so I am just going to uh, place a couple little embellishments around on top of the photos. I decided to do a label and a snowflake and the word joy. Um, basically, I pulled all of my colors out of that patterned um, 4x6 card that that bottom right photo is layered on top of. And all the colors uh, coordinate with that. And it's okay if you don't notice that. It's okay if you don't notice the colors. Um, it's okay if you just look at this and you're like, wow, that's just a colorful layout. Like, it doesn't bother me if you don't see that. Totally, totally doesn't bother me. Um, now, I did use those Winter Festival stickers and just layered those guys up. Um, and basically, I'm just covering up some of the roof line uh, on this photo. And that doesn't bother me whatsoever. I was thinking about bringing in this pink snowflake, but every place I tried it it just didn't look right uh, so that went back on top of the sticker sheet so now I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling I am using a black Muji pen because those are the pens I like to write with um, they just feel really good in my hand and I have no idea what in the world I was doing right there but apparently I was distracted um, so now I'm just gonna write down uh, basically what I told you guys about how this is frozen ever after and we call it Elsa's revenge and basically it's not the same ride which is disappointing um we but you still get to ride backwards in basically a log flume so that's a fun part of it that's still there um, but we just really miss the old Norway. I tell you, guys, if I could get a copy of that Norway video that played at the end, um, that would make my day. Make my day. So I'm going to pop all of these uh, photos into the pockets. And then since this will be in a Disney album, there will be more Disney photos on the back of it. Uh, but honestly, I have no idea what in the world is going to go on the back of that right now. Uh, that is a problem for future Sandy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you again real soon for another video.